Hello, everybody, coming to you from the ABN show floor 2023. This is day number three. I have the lovely Kylie LeBeau here with us today. Kylie, how you doing? Hey, uh, it's a pleasure to be here. I'm doing great. It's nice seeing everybody. Yeah. You know? It's kind of, is it weird being back at ABN, like after the world stopped from COVID and all right? of that? It's a little strange. Uh, yeah, but at the same time, it's, it's kind of, I, I have that homey kind of feeling, you mm -hmm. know, seeing everyone again. It's like um, a high school reunion kind of really thing is. almost. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I like this new space though. It's, yeah. Uh, it's uh, spaced out and I don't know. I feel like there's more room, you know? 100% there's more yeah. room. Remember like we couldn't walk through the through the aisles before. No. It was so jam packed. The hallway, it was crazy. yeah, it was madness. Yeah, so yeah. it's definitely, definitely nicer and a little more spaced out. So Kylie, you took a little bit of a break from shooting, but you're back now. I am back. Tell us about tell us about this um, return that you're that you're doing. Well, um, I kind of took a break just to well full disclosure. Um, I have a blog and I talk about like my uh, surgeries that I have. I just had rhino, a septal rhinoplasty mm -hmm. um, and a fat transfer to my face, mm -hmm. so I had to take a little time off uh, to heal. But I'm back, better than ever, and yeah. I'm ready to work. Um, but uh, mostly, I, I, I've been camming with my fiance, Casey Kisses. Mm -hmm. Who, if you guys haven't seen, I did a fabulous episode with her and Joanna Angel um, about her movie, Casey, which won a bunch of awards last it, year, right? Yeah, she has seven AVNs. Amazing, <laughs> amazing. That's yeah. so fucking cool. Yeah, very cool. What's it like having a relationship with somebody else in the adult industry? Because I know that like dating can be hard for sex workers, and sometimes it's easier to date somebody who's also in the sex work industry. And some people have told me that that's almost like more difficult like how has it been for you two for, for us I don't know it's I for us to me it's it's been pretty easy um, before porn um, actually when I entered the industry um, or sorry uh, my fiance Casey kisses actually um, got me in um, in the industry uh, prior to porn I was actually doing graphic design work and uh, when I met her, I was actually doing freelance graphic design. Mm -hmm. And then she kind of proposed the idea to me to go on cam with her. And I'm a total exhibitionist. Mm -hmm. So I love the idea. Yeah. So I went on to the first show with like a masquerade mask. Mm -hmm. Because I didn't, at the time, yeah. tell my family yeah. what I was doing. Yeah. So it's a after. Big leap to make in the stigma is real. Oh, Can't yeah. Take it back. Oh, once yeah. You're online. But thankfully, I've got like a very open family and, you know, they love me regardless. But after I told them about it, the mask was gone. So, um, uh, but yeah, like I was saying, prior to porn, um, I was doing graphic work. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm like, so, um, but anyway, it, it's pretty easy for us to navigate our relationship yeah. because I wasn't a set in sex work prior. Mm -hmm. So I kind of, she, she opened the door for me. Yeah. Um, in that sense, mm -hmm. but it's been pretty easy for us. I mean, I think it's all about communication and trust. Yeah. That's what you really need, and that's what's going to help you um, in any relationship, really. Yeah, no, that's so. absolutely true. I think sometimes, uh, I mean, I definitely found this to be the case with swingers, and actually Dr. David Lay, who's a, a therapist um, that I have had, sex therapist I've had on my podcast, has talked about how he has found, you know, in his work with couples that swingers tend to have better communication skills because they're in a situation where you have to talk about sex, right? Yeah. And you have to talk about boundaries. And I think in most, like, normal monogamous relationships, people don't talk about that kind of stuff. I, that's You know different. what I mean? Like, sex is, like, something that isn't really discussed. It's, like, a weird, awkward thing. And I think things are just assumed and people's needs aren't met and they don't feel comfortable talking about it. So I find it interesting that, um, you know, people sometimes that work in, in sex work and have, like, poly relationships in one way or another tend to have, like, healthier relationships. Oh, yeah. I feel like I've, I'm the most open that I've been in any relationship uh, with her. Yeah. Because we have s such different needs. Yeah. And uh, it's just very easy to communicate with her, Yeah, I feel. Um, we both just feel like we're soulmates, so yeah. I guess that kind of makes it easy. <laughs> how long have you guys been together? Um, it'll be five years this uh, this September. Oh my god, how yeah. exciting, that's yeah. very cool. Thank you. And you said fiance, have you guys made like plans for the wedding yet? We do have wedding plans. Uh, it will be next year mm -hmm. um, on an island. You know, It's gonna be like a little private ceremony. Oh, that's so cool, yeah. I love that. <laughs> As somebody who's been married twice and has never had a wedding, I hope that you have an amazing wedding. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you only have it once in your life, supposedly. Well, yeah. But, you know, 
Just make it count. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We've got we've got beautiful plans. Um, it's going to be on uh, Hawaiian Islands because we we go there um, annually. So yeah, it just means something to us. It's very sentimental. So yeah. and we're getting our close family there. So yeah. I'm, yeah. We're both just. I love that. About it. Yeah. I love that. So uh, you mentioned that you were doing graphic design before you came into um, the adult industry. What was that transition like from like the corporate world to porn? Honestly, it was it was pretty easy uh, because my final job. So let me just let you guys fill you guys in. Uh, so prior to porn, I was doing pre-press production, publication design, and then finally I was working in the architecture industry, doing 2D design and social media management. Mm -hmm. So they were laying off people. Mm -hmm. So that was pretty easy for me to kind of transition right, right. into doing freelance graphic work. And then I ended up meeting my fiance, who is a uh, you know, a cam, cam performer as mm -hmm. well as an adult performer. Mm -hmm. And then that's how I kind of got my foot in the door with Cam. And then uh, I eventually got an agent and then started doing scenes. Mm -hmm. So, but not very many scenes, mm -hmm. by the way. I've only done like maybe a handful of scenes. Mm -hmm. So, which is why I'm trying to, you know, push my, my name now. Right, right. <laughs> um, are you do, you, do you feel like you're happier in this new career path? Does it feel like it's more suited to you? 100%. I've always felt like I wanted to be my own boss. Mm -hmm. I, you know, just working towards someone else's goal just did not seem like yeah. my dream. So yeah. this just kind of fell in my lap and I'm, I have an entrepreneurial spirit. So, yeah. and I'm motivated, self-motivated. So I will just constantly go, 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 Yeah. you know, and, and give myself tasks to do and, you know, yeah. manage myself. One thing that I think people don't actually realize about being an adult star, especially these days with these personal content platforms that everybody's using, OnlyFans, etc. And then, you know, eventually Joy City, once we open up the metaverse to everybody, um, is that like porn stars really are like small business owners now. Oh, yeah. And and personal entrepreneurs like and, and they don't and unlike a lot of um, celebrities and like the mainstream space, you guys don't have managers for the most part, for like the most, most part, of you no. don't have managers, no. you don't, and so you have to figure out everything on your own. Yes, you need, you definitely need to have time management skills. Yes, <laughs> that's that's for sure. Um, and then just make sure you have a good head on your shoulders, mm -hmm. so that you're not, you know, going falling by the wayside. Um, yeah. I'm just, I'm constantly giving myself goals for the day, mm -hmm. you know, to complete, just so that I'm not falling back, you know, behind on whatever goals I have. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, you know, it, it's a, it is a struggle at times, but uh, it's definitely very rewarding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. So um, speaking of uh, Joy City, since I just brought up the metaverse, you actually understand what the metaverse oh, is. Yeah. You have like, I have an Oculus. you an Oculus because some, you know, it's a new space and a lot of people don't, you know, there's a learning curve. A lot of people don't know oh, what yeah. it is. So um, what are your thoughts on like, the idea of an adult metaverse like what what do you see happening with that i think it's awesome i feel like it's well uh when the pandemic happened you know it was very difficult for us to communicate with one another and kind of build that relationship so i feel like you know when i put on the oculus and i enter the metaverse it, it is kind of like a way to build relationships with people you are you know uh it's very much like the real world, except you're at home, yeah. or wherever you may be. Yeah. Um, but I enjoy it. It's uh, and I honestly can't wait for Joy City. I, I started following you guys, so <laughs> yeah, we I'm can't excited wait for it. Yeah. Yeah, we're very excited to open up the platform to all creators. We're just moving at a slower pace so that we can make sure everything's you know working properly and um, any little kinks are ironed out because it is crazy. Like it's. Oh, yeah. It's a whole new world, and it it's really something is. that's never really been done before, and um, there's just a lot to it. And there's so many like amazing opportunities for monetization and interaction with your fans, and so it's just like, it's just there's a lot behind it, but it's like so exciting. A whole exciting. new world. Oh, it's whole so exciting. A whole new world. Yes, so absolutely. Exciting, yeah. uh, are you going to the awards on Saturday? I am, yes. And uh, have you picked out your dress and everything? No, I am a, a last minute. Wait a minute, shopper. girl! It's Friday. I know. Your I'm going are right after this. I know. I know. I've been so busy. I've been. I've just been swamped. So, yeah. but I'm sure I'll find something. Yeah. You know, I'll figure it out. Yeah. 
Oh, you look beautiful no matter what you wear. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Kylie. Can you tell everybody where they can find you online, please? Oh, yeah. You can find me on Twitter at Kylie LeBeau, K-Y-L-I-E-L-E-B-E-A-U. I know it's it's a struggle sometimes. <laughs> on Instagram, my Instagram is Kylie LeBeau TV. And uh, I also have a YouTube channel um, and OnlyFans, OnlyKylie.com. But you can find all my links on my Twitter. Fantastic. Yes. And, of course, you guys can follow me at Holly Randall on Instagram and on Twitter. And, of course, do not forget, joy.city is the metaverse. It is here. The future is now. Go to joy.city and sign up for email updates so you can be in the know and the first on board for um, all of these amazing rollouts that we have coming your way. Thank you guys so much for being here, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for having me. Thank you.